Let's try to see how to multiply fractions. Okay, it is not a very difficult process. The only thing you have to remember that you can multiply numerators together and the denominators together and get your answer. But the second part to this is always to write it in the lowest terms. So if there are some common factors in numerator and denominator, they should be simplified to lowest terms. Okay, so we'll learn how to do both. The very first example, when we look at it, these are all prime numbers, right? So nothing really gets simplified here. You simply multiply numerator and denominators together. So numerators are 5 and 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. We get 10 here. And the denominator is 7 times 3, which is 21. So the product of denominator is 21, which comes in the denominator. And the product of numerator is 5 times 2, 10, which comes in the numerator. And that's our answer. Now in the next one, we see... It is 3 over 8 times 4 over 9. Now here, 3 and 9, they have common factors. Both can be divided by 3, right? So let's do it. So 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 3 is 9. How about 4 and 8? Well, 4 and 8 have 4. This is a multiple of 4. So I can divide by 4. 4 times 1 and 4 times 2. So first step is always simplify by crossing out what is common factor as I did just now and then multiply 1 times 1 1 and denominators are 2 times 3 which is 6 so you get 1 over 6 now the next one here they are mixed fractions so first step is write the mixed fraction as an improper fraction correct so to write that as improper fraction is you multiply 1 with 4 and then add 3 which becomes 1 plus 4 1 times 4 is 4 4 plus 3 is 7 so it makes it 4 7 over 4 times 2 times 3 is 6 6 plus 2 8 we get 8 over 3 right so this is what we get and next step is what we did here simplify so here 4 and 8 so 4 goes 1 times and 2 times into 8 and so we have simplified it as much as we could now you can multiply Again, 7 times 2 is 14 over 3, right? If you want, it depends on the question, but at this stage, you can write answer as a mixed fraction. So divide 14 by 3. So how do you do it? You have 14, and then you divide 14 by 3, right? 3 goes 4 times, 4 times 3 is 12, and 2 is a remainder. So this could be written as 4 as a whole number, right? And 2 as a remainder, and 3 here. So that is it. You can check if it is right or wrong. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 2, 14. So you get 14 in the numerator and denominator remain as such. Correct? So that's how you multiply fractions. I hope you understand. Okay? Thank you.